Hydrocephalus is a condition where cerebrospinal fluid, the fluid that cushions and protects your brain, builds up inside your skull, usually because it's blocked or not getting reabsorbed into your body. This puts pressure on your brain, which can cause long-term issues if left untreated. Anyone can develop hydrocephalus, but it's most common in premature infants, children with spina bifida, children with certain brain tumors, following brain infections, or after severe head trauma. Symptoms vary by age. Kids, teens, and adults may experience headaches, nausea, sleepiness, and abnormal eye movements like downcast or sunset eyes. Infants may have similar symptoms, along with irritability, a rapidly growing head, a bulging soft spot, and prominent scalp veins. Imaging gives us a peek inside the brain, so we can find out if there's too much fluid. Like everything at Connecticut Children's, we use special techniques designed for kids' growing bodies, like low-dose CT scans to minimize radiation and, whenever possible, ultrasound and quick brain MRI to avoid radiation altogether and minimize or eliminate the need for anesthesia. Treatment will depend on a few things, like your age, diagnosis, and some other factors. We're part of a national consortium focused on outcomes, constantly benchmarking against other world-class institutions, which helps us determine the best course of treatment for you. The most common treatment is a shunt, a surgically implanted tube that transports the extra fluid from the brain to another area of the body where it's absorbed. It's made of three parts. The short proximal catheter that drains fluid away from the brain a one-way valve that controls how much fluid is drained, and the long distal catheter that carries the fluid to another area of the body, usually in the belly, where it's reabsorbed. Enough catheter length will be used to allow it to grow with the child. Endoscopic third ventriculostomy, or ETV, is another treatment, often used when there's a blockage in the cerebrospinal fluid pathway. A neurosurgeon uses a tiny camera to open a new pathway at the floor of the fluid space in the brain. This creates an internal bypass or escape route so the extra fluid can reach the space where it is reabsorbed. No tubes necessary. For either treatment, you can count on us for 24-7, 365 care from pediatric neurosurgery experts who specialize in neurosurgery and kids. After surgery, you'll have regular ongoing checkups to monitor your condition and progress. We provide long-term follow-up all the way to adulthood when we help you to make a smooth transition to an adult neurosurgeon. From diagnosis to recovery and beyond, know you're in good hands with Connecticut Children's nationally recognized standard of care.